Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Planet Zoo. Where we are currently designing and building our own little setup here of different animals and making our own zoo. This last time we put in some Indian elephants. Oh, look at it. Nice. Taking a snooze there. And we put in these little, uh, what are these called? Proboskis? But yeah, those. We put some of those in. I was thinking of making this a little bit less, but we'll check this out. So, we're going to add some more stuff today. We definitely need to uh, take a look at um, our, the happiness of our guests and what they need. Let's see. A guest happiness is influenced by the quality of the animal viewing, their needs, and things that affect them negatively. So, energy, hunger, thirst, toilet, all of those are at about 50%. Education's good. Let's just make sure that that's true. So, education looks like it's pretty good. We got that under control. Not so much over here. But they're coming in from this area. So... It looks like we need another toilet. We have one here. And we have one at the entrance. It would appear that we need another one over here. Even though I think we have one here. So we need another toilet. Thirst. We're, looks like we're doing okay. We don't really have any red. We put in some additional stuff over here last time. Hunger. We're definitely doing well. Energy. Okay, so lack of benches, things of that nature. So that's how you uh, that's how you affect energy. We have benches all the way down, all over here. So let's get back into it here. So we need another toilet. So we have some benches. Wow, those are as big as a monkey. I wanted to see. about seeing if I can make this a little less. And then it just fills it up all the way. Anyways, we'll leave it full. It's, it's, it's a little too full, I would say. It almost looks like Overflowing, but anyways, so we need to put in another toilet and another some more restaurants. We had put in another um, food court area over here, and we had put a toilet back here. Let's see. At least I thought we had. If we have not, that's probably why. But maybe. Okay, so. It would appear that we do not have another. Okay. We don't have another toilet over here, so let's go ahead and put one on this side. And if you guys have never played this game, you should really check it out. I mean, there's really... The amount of things that you can do in here. Guest facilities, toilets. Um, it's... You can build all kinds of things. We're just barely scratching the surface here. Um, South American toilet. Let's get this set up. That way everybody's somewhat satisfied here with their needs. Gotta save that, save that space, you know. Let's see, how close are we? We're doing all right here. Okay, we have a bench right in the way. And a trash can right in the way. Move this one over just a little bit. I mean, you can go into every little detail. Even down to, like, coloring all kinds of different things. I mean, this is, like, the that part of it. I guess it's just for the 
flowers and that, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I really enjoy this game. And really, we're just being creative and trying to build something. I had never played this game before, so we had worked through some of the career um, options, and now we are building our own. And this is what we have so far. We need to add some more. Probably put another facility here for food and stuff, and then just start working um, right here to put more exhibits and more animals in our zoo. So let's get going on that. Let's go ahead and hit play. And what do we... Let's make sure everybody's looking okay. Um, food, everybody should be on three. Yep. Make sure everybody's still in the... I think the alligators are still going to be orange because they... We have too many alligators, but they're too young to set free. Unfortunately. Um, but we had gotten rid of quite a few vending machine. Okay, can get somebody over there working on that. Let's go ahead and look at our finances real quick. I'm just curious. You're kind of sitting in the red right now. Ongoing expenses is, is uh, obviously going over, but we have been buying quite a few things, including elephants and stuff. So, get that taken care of, and then let's add some more stuff here. Let's see. I mean, really, we could expand all over, so. Let's see what all we would want to do for tropical zones. Are these guys good? Last time, I think we had it just slightly too small. Yeah, the hard shelters are just a little too small. Um, I'd like to do a little bit more for these guys, but we... This just looks like a giant big screen TV, but... <gasps> Did they have a baby? Oh no, we bought another one, huh? That's right. <laughs> so there's just not enough room in this one for... Um, really, we should probably take this out and move it over, but... Not quite yet. We want to... Let's see what we want to do. Let's go to the Animal Trader and we'll see. There we want to reset. Well, let's go here. I want to look up some specific animals that are to our area. We could do a big cat section. We're kind of on uh, apes and uh, big animals over here, tropical animals on this side. What is that? Ooh, that looks creepy. That looks pretty cool. Do they enter species? Probably not, because they eat things. We want specifically habitat here. We got Indians. I still, I'm wanting to do like a big cat exhibit as well. We could do a hippo, a hippo one. That would be kind of fun. We could also do a chimpanzee one. Why don't we go ahead and do chimps right now? Because we have, this is kind of our lemurs and monkeys and apes section over here. And we could put them. I kind of want to save this, this room for the staff. But we'll go ahead and put the the path down this way. I don't really like that T. There we go. We'll call it good there and then we'll just build a big, um, a couple exhibits here, our habitats. So let's go here, not there, here. So we have our, this is kind of the classical one that I've been doing. Thick glass and glass. Oh, we have a different glass types. We could probably switch those out. So we'll leave this for staff areas. Let's go this way with this guy. Kind of go right along the border here.
I don't know how big we necessarily need these. And since we'll probably end up doing some... Yeah, let's, since we'll probably end up doing some... Uh, terraforming. Hopefully this is good here. I want to do I want to do two, so I think that'll be maybe this will be big enough for chimps, I'm not sure. Hopefully we can go straight here. Yeah, I know that looks a little, a little off here, so we're going to go ahead and pull this one out. To be straight, I mean reasonably straight. This whole section probably needs to come out, but that's alright. So let's go ahead and see. What do we... I would like to make a nice big exhibit for the apes. For the chimps. So let's go to construction. And they have some pretty cool... Let's see. It's like these things. They're just massive, so... But let's see what the uh, the hard shelters are. So you have we have this massive one we could use. Um, this one. I mean, look at that. That is absurd. We should do that one. What do? Well, I wonder what the chimpanzees um, interspecies with. Let's see, because we could do that one and do a couple. Uh oh, what do we have? All these vending machines going. Going haywire here. So, do we need another mechanic here, maybe? Maybe we need to get another mechanic. See? Ongoing expenses is way. Oh, but we're making a little bit of money. So, let's go ahead and get a couple mechanics. And then we'll assign them to our work zones. Um, we have four, so let's go ahead and... How many do we have here? What all do we have? One mechanic. Two mechanics. And three mechanics. Okay, so with this guy, this, this section definitely needs more. And this is section, um, well, entrance. So let's go ahead and assign these guys. Maybe that's the part of the problem. Go ahead and get those guys assigned. The other ones have two and three, so... Alright, I'm thinking what we might do. Let's make this one big exhibit here. Let's go ahead and take this down. And we're going to continue on this way to the end and make one massive exhibit and then okay kind of angle it just a little bit here we're going to pull that corner out Hopefully this glass is strong enough. Okay, I'm trying to find a reference point. Okay.
A little bit too close, I think. There we go. Let's go ahead and move that out just a little bit. Go away there, buddy. It is a little difficult to see. That uh, that other piece doesn't really matter. We're gonna take it out. Okay, so now we have a pretty massive exhibit here, our habitat, and we're gonna use this as our. It's a little off. That's okay. We can move it. Except for when that's right in the way. Well, it's not perfect, but it'll work. So what, how high do these need to be? Let's see. Uh, we want tropical, um, habitat, and then there, we're all the way at the bottom. Western chimpanzees. Doesn't benefit from sharing space with other species. Nice. Selfish. It's kind of a big exhibit for these guys. But let's make it kind of fun. So let's, uh, just for fun, go ahead and take this. And their natural habitat is... Uh, they need climbable space, 780. Let's go ahead and get like a like ten of them or something. So twelve thirty. How big is this one? Well, I guess we need a we need to put a gate in here so we so it classifies it as a uh, no. I don't want that. I want to go straight into. Gates, yeah, barriers. The glass ones, I think they look better. And this road is a little wide, but it'll just have to work. So it kind of squeezes down right there. Oh well. Beautimus. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. How big is this? This should be massive here. Oh yeah, we could hold like 30 chimpanzees. Okay, good. So they need some some nav navigable climbing area, but let's go ahead and put some of this stuff down. Oh look, that's cool. Put this right here. So Hide the habitat door. Nice. And then we want to... These ones are massive, but that one's a little big. Oh wait, I wanted to do the hard shelter. That's going to be what's extremely massive in this one, so... Holy moly. Okay. Be like King Louis. I'm the king of the jungle, man. <laughs> what is the best angle here? Oh yeah, that's. Maybe we'll put it in the back right here. Huh? Put this facing this way. I don't know how much room we have on both sides, but we can put some. Barely. Um, we're probably gonna have to move that gate. It's the only thing. Unless we move this. Yeah, 
kind of sit to it a little bit. Might be too big. And then let's put another one of these massive ones. I mean, I say massive, they're nothing compared to this thing. I don't know if these are supposed to be like exhibits or like in the inside the habitats or just placed as, as, as like art for the people. I don't know. Obstructed. Okay, and how high does this habitat need to be? Grade 3, climb proof, greater than 5 meters. Okay. Greater than five, so maybe six. Cool, all right. That'll work. Let's build a big old... Uh, I guess we could get the chimps here. That way they can be looking around and we can actually make it to where the... Um, what are these? Western chimpanzee. So... The elephants and the little monkeys over here might be a little out of... Got to remember to put them in the work zone. Okay. So that's done. What about this, this work zone? Did we miss any? I see these over here. We'll put these with the... Well, I guess we could probably put them in the same one here. There we go. Well, that's why they're not getting fixed, so... Probably should have done one a little bigger for the the elephants. Maybe we should extend it back, take this path out. But we'll just leave it like that for now. Let's get a chimp in here and see what type of terrain they like, get them fed, and then we'll... This is massive. I mean, this probably... We should probably move the elephants over here. Oh well. We'll just make this like the... The Louis. The King Louis. Is that his name? King Louis? From... The Jungle Book?
Okay, let's pause this and get this going here. So what do they need? For welfare, social, well, we're getting more, and enrichment, food quality. Let's go ahead and get that done right away because we'll forget that. Animals, food. Top these guys off. More plants and tree coverage. Yes, we know. We'll adjust all that here in a minute, but let's get their food going here. Should be western chimps here. Yeah. Small water bowl, but we'll do a big one here. Well, we want to build something over here, so we'll leave that blank. All right, what about enrichment? I'm sure they like all this type of stuff. There we go. And we need some climb See, that's why I think this might be too big. Maybe we'll have to take this out. Because I want to make it to where it's nice and, nice and jungly, but I don't know if this... This is just a huge habitat. It just doesn't... Uh, yeah, we'll just have to... Sprinkler. Definitely put out some pianos here. They like those. What's the matter, buddy? Toy enrichment? Well, yeah, we're getting there. So they could use a couple more toys. Let's see. Put a box out here. Well, they like a box. And a block of ice. Okay. Almost. These guys must like to play. There we go. And they need some... Inappropriate for this animal. Insufficient area or crowding issues are present. Really? Okay. So like we did on the other one, we need to here. Edit the work zone. We're going to go ahead and keep it in here. There we go. How are we doing on our barriers, by the way? Oh, wait. You know what we didn't do? Have to remember to put these on here. Well, hopefully it worked. This is awfully big for them. Maybe we should have put the gorillas in here. Um, go ahead and put some bedding down.
Okay, we want to move them. To the surgery. Or quarantine. Yeah, I thought we called the Keeper. Maybe it was because they didn't have any Keeper assigned to them. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and get these education boards up. Put a couple. One there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Move this in just a bit. And let's put two more on this side. What? Oops. I forgot to hit the OK. Probably put those there, take this one off. Probably don't have power over here, mate. I don't know. Is it upside down? We don't know. Maybe it is. Okay, move this guy down. about right. Let's go ahead and rotate this guy. There we go. It's helpful if you do it right the first time. Let's put a speaker. Speaker here to assist in knowledge. One there. One there. We knew we were gonna have to turn these down, so. Gotta share space, man. Gotta share space. Okay. 
There we go. Mm -hmm. Do this one and we'll turn this one up just a little bit. We don't want to get any overlap here. This might be a little close, but oh well. Hmm. Hmm. Don't get nitpicky, the whole thing's off. Okay. Yep, yep. Probably right. Have some power issues we need to address. As soon as we get this education board situated. Okay, let's go ahead and let everybody look around, but where are we lacking power? So maybe we'll make a staff path right here, maybe? At least part of the way back here. Let's see, power. Okay, so we'll make it, let's see, where's the negative impact? So it's not too big. Let's go ahead and put it there for now. And before we forget, we got to assign it to a zone. If we don't, it won't get worked on. Okay. And I know these guys aren't super happy, but too few adults. Yeah, but there's only, I think they just need climbing space. So let's go ahead and put that for them. Not nearly enough. Let's find a real expensive one here. That one's huge. That one's for large animals. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think it would show me just things for them. Close, close. Small animals. It's not really climbing space though. Which one do we put? This one? Yeah. Maybe. A little more, even. Could back, I could come back and design all this myself, but it's kind of... Okay, so that'll be a little better. So they need less long grass. More soil. We'll just get all this painted up for them real quick. Oh, 
We probably need to come in here and design them a... their own climbing thing because I mean honestly it's this is not working I was hoping to have something cool looking in here we'll, we'll, we'll work on it we'll work on it it's just give us time let me change all the all of this stuff out of here Could use a little short grass. Whoa. This never goes down. Okay, so less long grass. Let's get that long grass out of here. They want nothing to do with long grass. You're still at 57%. I guess they need like zero. Well, they say none, they don't want any. I think they'd want a little bit of long grass, but maybe not. Okay, I'm not seeing much, so you know what we're gonna have to do? New chimpanzees fighting. Alright, let's get rid of this. So, here's my thing. Well, let's get them back. Um, the terrain. Need to get rid of this long grass. We need more soil. Where's the long grass in your navigable space here, buddy? There's a little bit. I don't see any long grass, really.
<laughs> Dude, I don't see any. Where's your long grass? I know they're going to be sad because I don't have a shelter, but we need to make... Get a spot for them to get out of the rain real quick. Let's see. Get over here. Yeah, yeah. We need a hard shelter. And that one was... I really wanted to do that one, but that one is just huge. Put it back over here. Okay, so that's good for them. Let's go ahead and just get new bedding here. Nice, a place out of the rain. This one is, yep. There we go. These the chimps are gonna have to cut it out. Nutrition, so they've had the best meal quality they can have. Social group is balanced. Habitat's good. But we definitely need some more um, trees and such. So what is the local? Oh yes, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Seven. I want them to come down here a little bit, but not all the way till they to where they hit the negative impact zone. How big are these? Oops. Go away. Five on the side shoots, okay. Five on the side shoots, so we'll go. Ooh, this thing is crooked as. Why don't we do this since it runs? The question is, what's crooked? Oh well, we'll just have to have a little bit of a crooked path. That's really bad though. There we go. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. Trying to learn what every button does here. I would say that's far enough. Then we'll go staff. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and move this guy over. And how are we looking on negative impact?
These things snap funny over here. Whatever. This path is crooked. Crooked! Oh well, it adds character. You're never gonna learn how to be more creative or how to do it. Oh, I didn't want that one. How to do it better unless we try it and then we try it again and then we there and then we better it. Really? What in the world? Get rid of that one. <laughs> that one looks all crooked. And I don't even know why. Usually those sit up straight. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and put some trash cans down. Okay. And we'll add one more speaker here. Where'd he go? Okay. Come out of the wall. We'll leave it like that for now. It's interesting how they kind of go into the wall there. So you can overlap on your own. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some benches and some trash cans. Plenty of stuff down there. And then we need to hit up their finances here. Okay. How are we doing now? Other than those males fighting.
So their barrier status seems to be going down rather quickly. Okay, let's go ahead and look back here. Okay, and then let's look at ours, because we'll have to get rid of one. They're just being too silly here. I want his information panel. So, fertile, eh, kind of immunity, kind of size, kind of small. Longevity. Okay, where's the guy that we want to look at here? Hey, dude. I don't know what the longevity means. Okay, we need to go ahead and just get pick one and get rid of it. Okay, who is this? This is Chuma. He's gonna get rid of him. Sorry, bud. You can't be mean to everybody. So, without that big old facility here. Kind of feel like we should maybe shorten it up. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should put a leopard exhibit in here too. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, looks like we have plenty of benches. We have some hungry people. And some thirsty people. Education's low, especially way over there. Well... Education is, I mean, you got to read the boards. So we have another toilet. Um, maybe another one? Let's see where it's needed the most. Over here, but we have one already right here. It's just not really in use. Alright. Maybe we need to put another one. We will put another one.
There we go. Maybe that'll help. Okay. The entrance has the most personnel, so... <laughs> okay. Question is, is we need to put... Some, well, we need to put some more stuff in here for these guys. They're really only using, like, a little bit of it. So we'll just have to, like, get a massive chimpanzee population, maybe. And they need, let's see, grade 3 climb proof. Well, this was grade 5, I think. I don't know why it's deteriorating so rapidly. Grade 4 and grade 5, so. I mean, unless we completely block them all in. Well, good. We could just keep charging... A bunch of money, I guess. Go ahead and spread these out of it. And then let's look for some things here, some tropical things that they might enjoy. We could probably make them a little pond. Uh oh. Do we have too many Gila monsters now? We better pause for a second before we attract too many too many um, people then they're gonna start protesting so okay let's go ahead and release these to the wild need to get rid of that guy Um, because it's just not necessary to have. So how are we now? Gila monsters. Still one too many. Everything else is looking pretty good other than probably the alligators. Why? What's wrong with these guys? Everything looks to be 100%. Maybe it up didn't update. Alligators need to be set free for sure. Are we ready yet? Good grief. How long are we juveniles here? Mommy and Daddy are 50 years old.
Go ahead and get rid of that. How are we doing? Welfare is a little low. Too much long grass, so I guess we could just put it up a bunch of soil on here, but there's no long grass. We're on the hunt for long grass for these picky chimpanzees. <laughs> okay, and let's make sure that we have the right stuff here. Because these guys seem to be... So I think what we're doing right now, we have this one is a 5 and then we're using the chain link. Chain link is 2. What is this one? Steel mesh, that's four. So we have four and five. Let's see what they require. Because they seem to be sneaking out all the time. Grade four. Okay, and this was what? Four, okay. Well, I mean, short of doing electric. Well, that's what you get. I wonder how people stay off of that. Stand back. Well, maybe that'll help. This little guy's like, what? So these guys need some tropical trees. Let's get back to that. That's what we were trying to do here. These trees are huge. So I want to get them to where I can see if this is going to... How long are these? Go ahead and put another tree here. Is this the right type of tree? Yeah, it is. Okay. Good, good. And then let's see if we can't get some some of these. That's kind of fun. Okay. Do 
is take these. Let's see if we can't do some of these. This is more difficult because it's not... Pretty close. We'll rotate it back just one. So we're going to have to move the tree. There we go. What about these guys? Let's see. Just add some little decorations, kind of. And this is where it can be really fun, honestly. I don't even know all the things that I can do in this game, but there are some really inspirational um, people that you can watch. One specifically that I've watched recently is Lady Designer, or De, De Lady Designer. She has some really interesting stuff to see, so if you want to check that her out, check that out, because she's got a lot of cool designs and uh, just different things, like just shows you different ways that you can actually manipulate things. I don't know, you kind of think of the game like this being kind of cut and dry, but it's not. There's, It's literally limited to your imagination and what you think you could build with the things that they provide you, obviously. But that's it. So you should check out her channel if you get a chance, unless you all probably know already about her. Well, that looks a little funky, but... Oops, did I not push OK? Oh yeah, we're good on there, buddy. We're good. Let's put this sucker up. Yeah, if you can if you can kind of imagine it, man, you could you could put it there. I just don't know. I'm not very good at the placement of these things yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 
not moving the one that I want. Uh, no, I want this one. What are you doing? What the heck? Go away then. <laughs> Got little chimps running all over the place. So you could spend hours doing this. Little details here and there. Looks a little funky. Oh well, mm, don't want that one. Need that big one we just had. Rotate this guy down. Uh, not that one. <laughs> not that tree. Not that tree. Good. This one. I was wondering why it was so far down there. You know what would be kind of a cool aspect of this is if you could, um, almost like the paths, if you could um, take these and like string them across trees like the path, like kind of how it snaps to one area or another, that would be kind of cool. Oh yes, we have a light. I forget these things. Okay, I wonder if I can make it... Let's duplicate it. Maybe we can spin it to where yes like that, but just more like in the tree. So this is our center point here. So we basically need to have that stuck in the tree because it pivots, it stays put there. And it's not long enough. Oh well. What other kind of um, bushes and stuff would they like? They need more climbing space, so we could probably try to design one. So let's try to design one. Why not? I mean, it's just part of it. Let's see. It's, it's kind of hard to do in the dark. Yeah, you better stay back. 
Dude, these guys are loving that water. That's funny. These guys too. <laughs> Let me dig them some. Let's dig them a pond while we wait for. While we wait for the day. They're like, no, long grass. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. But move this little guy out of the way, whatever that is. A block of frozen fruit that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, can you guys, uh, Come take care of this. <laughs> They're fast little dudes. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Thank you. A little bit of sand. And soil, or maybe a little rock. Let's make sure we didn't mess up their stuff here. Good, so we have less long grass. I'm gonna fill this up and let's just see what it looks like and then we're gonna try to build them a rough water. It's just too full. It's like there's not enough It's like there's either too much or too little. What does chisel do? No idea. Those apes. How many mechanics do we have? That's what's like, yo, we got We have three mechanics over here. Maybe we need a workshop. Put a workshop over here.
Well, there's one right there. Oh well. Let's just see what they need here. Aquatic workshop, African workshop, we want the South American workshop. Hopefully they can get some stuff done if there's a workshop closer. Yeah, this one here. Okay, they need some more climbing space, so let's go ahead and do that for them. It's going to kind of maybe build something over this little waterway here. Let's see. Let's see what we could build. Hmm. We don't have a lot of options here. What do they use on the big ones? Just one big pole going up. Okay. One meter, two meter, four meter, six, maybe. I mean, six is as tall as it gets. Oh, maybe not. We could double it, huh? Put a big platform up here. Got to remember what you can do in this game. And that's all kinds of stuff, so. Um, can we not go straight up? Kind of. So now... Can we go Oh, I didn't hit okay. Oh man. There. Got to remember to hit okay. All right. So let's do a climbing one. Gonna put two here. Probably put a few here just to get them out. And then a small one. Just laying out some materials for us to use, so. I don't really want it to be that steep. Maybe one more even. A little more. Okay, then maybe we can move that platform over just a hair, but we need to take maybe one of these. Maybe this one. And you can see how time consuming this can be.
and getting them the exact same angle is really difficult. Okay. Can they reach that? Um, no. Well, maybe we can put a little. If we can find the right one. A little platform. Like one of these. Oh, not quite. Okay, we can't see it out of the bottom. Think they can get up there? I would think so, going off of that. Okay, I'm just going to move this down. I mean, I basically have them where I want them, but we can just move it right here. Who's fighting? Okay, well, now that we're fighting for Alpha, can we get rid of one? That's been the whole conundrum with the gators. Where are they? Okay, right here. So it looks like we have some... Oh, good. Release to the wild. Dun, 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 dun. Good. Um, oh, look. This is what I was wanting to do. This is why we got the female. Cool, because these are critically endangered. And, you know, it just kind of makes you feel happy whenever there, something is critically endangered, but you're actually producing those in the zoo and then releasing those to the wild. Cool. I like that. That kind of makes the game even more fun when you get to do stuff like that. I know it sounds silly, but if you're an animal lover and if you enjoy that type of thing, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I know you know. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over. It's what I was wanting to do. Move it in just a hair. I mean, I've got them lined up anyways. So that maybe we can just do that. And so it's it's pretty much this game is pretty much is like if you can if you can like imagine it you can build it it's it's a lot of fun. You have the opportunity to move to just do a lot of cool things in this game. I I appreciate it a lot. And it's honestly one of those things I didn't really think about until I saw another person's video and then I was like, "Oh wow. No, that's cool." So 
you know, you got to get some inspiration somewhere and then just to see what you can actually do with the game and then just play around with the game and check it out. Okay, this is going the wrong direction here. And see, then it comes... Then it goes this way, let's see. Try to get the point. Okay, that's the wrong direction. Let's do a little platform there. Small one. Kind of hard to get the spatial awareness on this game. Let's see, maybe I'll take one of these long ones. Let's put this one right here just for funsies. Is this counting as, as climbing space? 217 meters. 217, so I'll just remember that number. 217, and then we'll try to make it. Alright, get a little closer here. Let's... So that's going up pretty high, but we're going to kind of make some fun things out of it. So what were we at earlier? Let's see if we're adding anything to this. Where are those little guys? Okay, well, let's update this. Let's, um, ooh, that's starting to look kind of cool. I want to look at this, um, area here, this work zone. So let's see, the, the green area, that's in that work zone. Maybe if we turn them back orange. And so now that would be in apes, right? Okay, so now they're in apes. Let's see what all we have assigned here in apes. Workshops, large keeper hut, quarantine, water transformer, research center, and a staff room. So let's go ahead and get another keeper because I feel like we're lacking in that department. 
for this zone anyways. And then we'll add that person to that zone. Staff room. There we go. Salvatore. Apes. Go ahead and check all of our barriers real quick. Oh, we got a bunch of old red roughs. Let's see. Let's go ahead and address that. So we need to go ahead and... Oh my gosh, these guys are... Is that how many there are? Holy crap. Okay. Let's go to the red roughs here. We've got some elderly here. And let's go ahead and rehome them. And now that we've rehomed them, we don't we have two males left. How old are they? A ten and eight. We have two males, so let's go ahead and get a female. There we go. I'm having some issues here. What is this? Okay. Why are we not getting any... Why is there nobody assigned to this? Surely I can... I want to see where this is at. Cool, okay. Every month. And then what... I want to see if it has... Huh. Okay, why aren't we not... Let's go ahead and get this fixed. I don't know why we're not getting anybody involved here. So, green is in this work zone. Okay, that's the entrance. We're over here. Gorillas, um, elephants, and chimpanzees. So, that's not this work zone. This work zone is all the other side, the entire other side. So that's not the work zone. Um, apes is all this side. They should be. Hmm. Keeper hut large. I mean, we've got plenty of room. I don't know why they're not going there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it care caretakers? That's probably what it is. See, stupid me. Um... Apes, how many caretakers do we have? Two, maybe. I don't know. We'll just add a couple more, I guess. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, nope. We don't need caretakers. Um, we need, uh... Diseased. Okay. Where'd that uh, keeper go that just left? Food station refills, habitat clutter clean. So maybe we need another keeper. <laughs> the staff here. Come on, man. Just like anything else, huh? Hire people to do a job, can't get them to do it. Put one on entrance and one on apes. Okay, let's see if we can get this area resolved. I hate to see them get sick and stuff. And these guys are coming. I want them every, every six months. So we were building this. Oh yeah, remember we were at 217. What are we at now? 221, so we're adding a little bit. Move it on away. Oops. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Zooming in way too far. There we go. Nice and easy, golly. Take it easy. I don't want to get rid of that one. I wanted it right where I had it. Let's keep it there. How's that? These ones are too tall. They still aren't probably going to be at enough. They're al we're almost there. What? This guy looks funky. Well, that's better.
Okay, let's do a little bit more and then we gotta be done here because we're taking forever. That's what usually happens and that's why my videos get so long is I end up having a lot of fun well, having a lot of fun building stuff and then I I lose track of time and you know Then I hit, I forget to hit OK. And... I wonder if that's too far of a gap for him. Go ahead and set it there, and then we'll rotate it just a little bit. Just don't know how the angle is supposed to be. Okay. One more. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit the other one. That one and then this one. Okay, and then we'll do one more of these little guys. Hopefully it's not, I'm gonna have to put my light on. I guess I have the light on. Is that floating or did it get it? Okay, that made it to the ground. And we'll put a couple little small ones right here. Can they get up there? Maybe. We'll see if we can't make it go. <laughs> All the way up. We'll see. That's my first little design, whatever. I'm just trying to get them some space and then... Ooh, we're right out on the edge there, so... Do one more up here, maybe. This one. Two sixty one. Yay. So this is like three times the size that what they need. Um so we'll do we'll go ahead and do one more little one here for them. Make sure we get it up. See, now we're up high enough. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a sorry attempt at a first, at a first uh, climbable space, but you know, the video is getting kind of long and I don't, you know. So we will keep it, we'll uh, go ahead and call it quits for now and, and come back again at a different time. But hey, I want to thank everybody for watching and for uh, coming along for the journey of... Uh, just using your imagination and trying to build interesting things for animals and, and climbing spaces and habitats and 
designs. I would have liked to have maybe built a, a rock formation or something, but we'll work on some of that, the finer details later. But I want to thank everybody for watching and just make sure that if you like, if you like this game, if you like this channel, like and subscribe and we'll keep going with this stuff and then we will, uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. So, all right. Thanks everybody. I appreciate your, uh, your watching. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye guys.